My name is Colleen O'Connell and I invented the rotator rod. Today we're in our makeshift bathroom and we're going to talk about how to install the rotator rod and then how to take it down. It's really pretty simple. What you see now are the pieces that we're going to use. Number one is the rod. It's fully assembled on each end so you don't have to worry about that. Next are the two wall mounts and then the hardware packet. So now the first thing we're going to do is measure. I like my shower curtain about an inch to an inch and a half off the floor. Regular shower curtains are 70 inches long. That's going to mean that my center mark is going to be at 75 inches. Here we go. So now I'm going to take my wall mount with the lip toward the ceiling. This is really important. And I'm going to mark where I'm going to put my screws. I'm going to take the very top hole and the very bottom hole. And so now I'm going to take my anchors and I'm going to tap them in there and then I'm going to go ahead and screw them the rest of the way. Now this is if you're working in wallboard. So here we are, we drilled our, we, we tapped both of our anchors into the wall and now I'm going to go ahead and put the screws in the top hole and now the bottom hole and just screw that in. Now, the important part here is that we don't cinch anything down too tightly. Okay, so now we have our wall mounts mounted on both sides. Now we're gonna go ahead and snap this rod in place. So take the rod, move the, the cap and the ball back. We're going to install the rod with the arrow of the cam facing down. We're gonna slide it up there and snap it in. There, you could hear it snap. It's solidly in place. Now we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Next, we're going to slide the ball in place. We're going to, we're going to line up the set screw here with the arrow on the cam, slide it in. Now I'm going to go ahead and once again, I'm going to tighten down. I'm going to tighten it so that it's snug, but there's going to be play left in it. Okay, now it's tight. Not too tight. It still has some play in it. I'm happy with that. Last thing we're going to do is slide this cap over and secure it on the wall mount. We're going to secure these little tabs in these little places. So I'm going to slide it over, I'm going to find it and twist it, and now it's solid. So this is what it should look like when it's all installed. And here's how it looks with a curtain up. This is the coolest part of all though. This is called a rod reacher. And this was invented for my mom who's very short. She couldn't reach the rod. So here it is, a rod reacher makes for a smooth rotation of the rotator rod. There you go, back. So this is really the reason I invented the rotator rod because I, in, I installed a curved shower rod in my bathroom and this is the exact configuration that I have. And as you can see, this curtain is gonna get dirty in no time and it's really inconvenient. So, the rotator rod. Much better. So you can see what a huge difference this makes. And you can see what a huge difference it makes now. Now we have a lot of extra space. This is better. So if you want to take the rotator rod down, you're moving and you want to take it with you, all you have to do is remove the cap, unscrew the set screw, move the ball out of the way, and with a flat-headed screwdriver, wedge it in between the cam and the wall mount and give it one twist. And it pops right out. That's perfect. Now you can take it with you.